little video. It's a special shout out to my teammate, Sherry, who helped uh, create that video. What motivated me was I've been in the data center industry for quite a long time. Uh, key performance indicators, KPIs, service level agreements are pretty standard. A lot of people offer 99% um, uptime, et cetera, on their systems. Well, this system uh, proves it by saying, okay, let us monitor the systems that monitor the data center systems. And if the temperature or humidity or breaker status or whatever is in violation, then boom, trigger escrow and the lessee gets paid. Okay, let's get into the demo. If you wanna learn more about how each of these contracts work, you can go to my GitHub and there's a great readme about each of the contracts. So in the instance of the demo, I'm just gonna get right into it. So the KPI factory and escrow factory have already been deployed. So let's just start with the escrow. The first thing you wanna do is create an escrow, add the recipient address, the amount, and notice the recipient address is different than the account owner. The account owner funds the escrow amount matching the same amount here and hits the transact button. And we have the transaction created and you can see the information here. Any number of escrows can be created. Let's verify the first one, which is at escrow zero. And of course we can see the address of the sender and the escrow has not been fulfilled yet. So let's go ahead and create a KPI. Okay, the KPI has been created. Recipient agrees with the KPI. Okay, the transaction has went through. And let's confirm that all recipients have agreed to this particular escrow. And we can see that it's been true. Now let's go on to our KPI contract. Now you can see that we have our KPI contract assigned to our escrow zero that is funded by the 30. Let's go to the KPI contract. And with our KPI contract, we want to create the KPI point. Fill out the information. And when we have our KPI point ready to go, let's hit transact. Okay, we have our information. KPI point has been created. And we have our second point created. To verify the points, we can click on the KPIs with it. And you can see the information and you can see it has not yet been pulled. The zero and the zero. What we want to do now is register our KPI to the Chainlink Keeper network. But first we have to submit link. Since we know our contract will fail, I want to show the account value for our contract. You can see it is 9092, so it will go up by 30 gasway. We are ready to register our upkeep. And our register upkeep has successfully ran. We can verify that with the upkeep ID. And there's our upkeep ID, and we can verify it on the Chainlink registry. And here is our app. We now see that our time has run, and we see that our KPI has run at this particular thing. And you can see that the value is above our threshold, and the escrow has paid, and our recipient is up by 30. I really hope you guys enjoyed the demo as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about Solidity, learned a lot about Chainlink. It was cool getting involved with the hackathon videos, watching other people's projects. This is overall just a great experience. I hope that I bring value to the community through my smart contract KPI app. Thank you.